Good day. Welcome to Camo's Everything. Got the messy old bench out for you guys. And we got a neat little project today. We got one of these little cheapo LED lights. You can see this one's a ooh, GLW LED floodlight. But it's RGB light. And you can see here's the uh, little sensor here for it. And it's got a little remote like this fellow here. A little remote so you can change the colors, do all kinds of neat effects and stuff like that. But they always come with this little itty bitty pigtail. And I hate to just like wire on a wire on the back of this. Let's see, where's the end of this guy? And then have this big wad hanging off, very unprofessional. I mean, you can do it and it works, but we want to do it right. So what I've done, I've got two of these. I already take one apart. You can see here, if you want to know what's in the inside of it. Got the little driver. This one's actually pretty not too bad. Um, it's just kind of glued on here. Look, it's already rusty. And it's got a nice little gasket. It's got the little gland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire. It's a long wire. Take it out, snip it, and then solder it together with the other one. Get all my shrink taped up. And then stuff it all back in the box and have it come on out here uh, with a nice uh, plug. So the first thing we got to do is take this sucker off. Get the little gland off. Take this piece. And don't lose these pieces. And you got to put it on correctly, too. If you put it in wrong, you're going to be very sad. Getting this off is the hard part. Or I could just snip and take it. See the little gland? Just a little rubber grommet. And this little nut kind of crushes it so it keeps the water from getting into it. So I'm going to put it over here where it's safe. And then we'll take this fellow out. You can see here's the uh, other end of the gland. I was like, they uh, didn't even put the sticker on straight. Like I said, it's even really rusty on the inside. It's fine. So here's the glue. They just kind of glued the driver in there, which really not going to do much. It won't probably won't help any uh, heat dissipation from the driver, which is fine. And what we're going to do is snip this fellow. So you kind of see uh, these go straight into the driver. So this is part of the driver. But we're going to we'll leave a little long. Because we can kind of coil it up in there. We want a little longer. Too short, and you're screwed. You just screwed yourself. Because I don't think you can service this fellow. Probably not. Probably could, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to snip it. Get the snippers. Like how I got the messy bench. We'll snip it right about right there. There you go. And I'm hoping you can see it had a lot of glue on it. Let me just pull the wires out. Can we get out? Yeah, they're going to come out. That way, I don't have to do any cutting. There we go. I can get these out without destroying it. That's probably the best way. I like to leave things long. I think it's just a second chance of fixing it if you screw it up. These are going to fight. These are going to fight a guy. Come on. Let go, baby. There we go. They're coming out now. There we go. Now the last one. Nice and easy. Let me pull up my chair for you guys. So you can kind of see how this works. It's got the little LED driver. Oh, it's got like a little plug, but it looks like all the pins are just... Looks like they stuck some pins in, shrink taped it. Heat shrink taped. So I don't think this. Wait, it's just half a plug. That's kind of kind of interesting. It's a way to save some money. And you can see here we got the driver. And of course we got the ground wire, and we'll reground this fellow onto that. And if you ever want to know how these go together, because <clears throat> it seems like always anything you get from China is always has blue, brown, yellow, yellow green. Basically, what you want to do is black to brown white to blue, green to green. So you'll take the American plug, the black one, and go to brown, oops, black to brown, white to blue, and then of course, green to green. I'll leave it that way, that's fine. I think I always like to use, this is my favorite, one of my favorite tools ever. This is the Speedomatic stripper kit. Complete kit to strip insulation on all types of electric wire and coax cable. This makes your life way easier. Just got to get in the right hole and give it a little snippy snip. Probably take a little more off. There you go. Same thing with this one. Stick it in the hole. And away you go. 
it's like a little bit longer. There we go. And then the ground one. Perfect. And I'm gonna do the same on the plug end. And this is the just a little standard plug. <clears throat> and of course, what you want to do, um, probably we should do this first. You want to stick it through the box because you don't want to solder all together and you will not get it in the box. I've done that before. That's how I know. Oh, and you want to put the nut, the gland, and the pointy end goes towards the uh, end there. This one's going to be a little tighter. There we go. Perfect. And we'll poke it through the hole. And she goes. And we'll kind of tidy this up because we're not going to be this much in there. We could. We could. It'd be fine. I'll leave a little bit that way in case it does come a little loose. You know, you're pulling on it. You don't you know, rip it out. You get just a little bit in there. But we're going to do the same thing with this fellow. Where do you do the strippers? There's the strippers. And we're going to strip these guys. Booyah. Use uh, manual strippers too. Just like this because it's nice, it's neat, it's really good. You just want to do professional work, really sloppy work. You could even just take this off and ground it that way, but since this already got a little lug on it, I don't see any reason because you know if you want to replace this cord or replace the you know the driver or something like that i guess you can unsolder it and uh, maybe make it a little easier to replace but let me see i need a little more space give me some more space baby but there we go that's perfect so let me get some uh heat shrink tape you can also use a little electrical tape if you like i like the heat shrink tape it doesn't slide so let me go grab some of that all right, so heat shrink tape gone. We got black tape. That is what we're gonna do then. Black, tape it up. But I thought we would at least solder it together. Make it all nice and neat. Get these guys. Yeah, do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? Just kind of wrap those guys like that. Right, let's try this again here. We'll get you. We'll get you one way or the other. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go, baby. I think we got her. We got her good. Okay, that's good. Here, put back in holder. Next one. Remember what I said? Brown to black. soldering right-handed. That's probably why I'm having some issues here. Got the camera in the way. There you go, baby. Good. I think we got her. Tug, a little tug, and the last one. Oh, I have the solder iron on that side of the table. But I do. As you can see, I haven't been very tidy lately. I've been kind of 
working on too many projects, too many things are in the way, so it just gets to be wherever it is is where it is. But that's okay. That is all right. I should just turn this up a little bit too. I think I turned it down. I was soldering something. It probably just needs a little more heat on it. But the key is not to burn yourself. No, it's ruined your day. It sucks. bad. It's nice and hot, nice and hot. Then we'll put a little electrical tape on these fellows and we'll stuff it in and we should be good to go. Then we'll have a plug. We'll test it, make sure I'm right. Okay, got a little bit of tape here. Doesn't have to be super fancy. We just don't want this stuff coming off. Shorts are bad. Yeah, that looks nice. And then we'll do this fellow. I think maybe we'll bundle them up a little bit that way. In case one were to come unraveled, because it's going to get a lot of heat. We don't really need to do this one, but we will. It's the ground. Probably could have just put a little end on that, but I want to leave the wires a little long. There we go. Three little wires. Let me just get a little piece of tape here. Right, something sharper. Scissors would have came in handy. Keep it all from coming unbundled. If anybody wants to come come apart, they won't come apart. And then what we'll do is we'll take this fellow. Let's get this gasket back on here, nice and neat. Come on, don't fight me. It's gonna fight me. It's gonna fight me. It wants to fight. Got a little groove that it sits in. It's hard to see it. But that'll keep it from getting wet. These aren't gonna be outside. These will be inside. But I want to keep them. All the dirt and crud out of it, if we can. There. I think what we can do is we'll do that. Let's see. Uh, the gland goes to this side. Come on, all the wires, get in there. Get in there. Don't fight me. Got to get it all in the right spot. All the wires in. That's hard to see. Can I get it? The little gasket keeps sliding around. There we go. Let's get that screw started. I think there's a wire on this side sticking out. There it is. Get in there, baby. There we go. There we go. Probably if you did this for a living, little wires wouldn't be such a big deal. So you see a screwdriver here? I know there's one laying here. That's okay, we'll get the screw started. Manually. Then we'll give it a test, see if it starts on fire. That's the key. You want to make sure it's not going to burn your house down. That sucks. Every time you burn your house down, bad. Neighbors hate you. You hate you because you did it on yourself. Insurance company gets all mad. Come on, get in the hole. I can see it. It's going to fight you. Got your plugs on the way now. I think you can buy these with the uh, plug on them, but I think pretty much everyone ever got, it was uh, you build it. You plug it together. 
you know, this was designed to be mounted outside. So you got an outlet box nearby. You're going to wire it directly into the light switch. Kind of thinking that's what this was designed to be done for. But this uh, purpose is going to be a neat little project we're going to be doing with these guys. We've got a whole bunch of them. And kind of what's neat about they all use the same remotes, same frequencies. So when you change one, you change them all, especially if they're close by. So if you ever see if a neighbor gets one of these, you want to screw with them, go stand out and hide in the backyard and change the colors on them. You do that with a lot of the Vizio remotes too. You got a neighbor's got a Vizio, you can stand there and change their channels nonstop. And the best thing is when you don't say anything and they, they never figure it out. Like, Stupid TV keeps changing channels. It's best when you can... Uh, they got their windows or their curtains open. You can see them. You can see them swearing. Son of a gun! You son of a gun! All right. Let me get the gland. Wash the gland. You'll see what it does. The gland kind of grabs it. And then the little knot. This is why you want that stuff on because you just did all that work and you have to do it all over. Most mad. Get the gland in there. Come on. When you tighten this down, it snugs it up and grabs it. And keeps it from coming out. It also keeps it waterproof. And uh, we'll take a little wrench and we'll tighten it down. Now that's that's pretty much as tight as she's gonna go. And there you go. We have one plug. Let's plug it in and see what happens. I don't know if this guy if his battery's any good or not. Let's see. Squeeze. Yeah, this is C2032, looks like. Yep, C2032. I think I put it in upside down. Quick go. There we go. So let me plug this in. Let me turn off the soldering iron. It should just power up. It better power up and pop. There you go. Let's try the remote. I don't think I don't like about this guy the sensors in the middle here. Yeah, this guy his all right, something happened. I think it's on a cycle. Yeah, this remote needs a better battery. Otherwise we'd have green right now. But anyway, you get the idea. Kind of cool. Kind of strange it starts, up, it starts up on pink. Yeah, this battery's dead. But you get the idea. So there we go. We have a nice little light. We got a bunch more of these fellows to do now. We got a couple more pigtails to chop off and do the same thing over and over and over and over. And we'll have a couple of these nifty lights. These are pretty cool. I actually have ran these for quite a long time. They do get warm, uh, but not like super warm, you know, just uh warm-ish, so they're all good for uh, what I'm going to be using them for and they're dirt cheap I mean absolutely dirt cheap but like I said this one has the sensor in the front I'll oh, see this one has the sensor in the front too but that's okay I think I had some little sensor dangle down but I rather prefer to have it in here than uh, hanging out because you could you know pick over time just the UV is going to mess with it but anyway there you go that's how we will up a light it's basically black to brown white to blue Green to green, or green to yellow green. Simple. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.